the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have laid the sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, who you have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the and Lord your God, God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the I am Lord your Lord God, God, hear my, my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am, I am the Lord, Lord your God, God. hear my I voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord I your God, God. God. hear my God. voice. Set all of 
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and said to him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your understanding, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw, that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. The liturgy of today gives us a beautiful theme for our reflection. You know, one of the scribes came up and asked Jesus, which is the greatest of all commandments? And Jesus, our rabbi, well versed in Torah, all the laws, he calls the book of Deuteronomy. So which is known as the Shema. So Shema serves as the core faith of a Jew. It has two elements. The first is, their belief in one God. You know, just imagine, in olden times, you know, they had, like Gentiles, they had many God and goddesses. And Judaism is the first revealed religion which started worshipping one God, what we call monotheism. And second element is, he's not just one among other gods. So the book of Deuteronomy says, love that one Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. So that means your life evolves around in loving the one true God. You know, even today, uh, the Orthodox Jews, so they will write Shama, and either they will tie it on their arm, some of them tie it on their forehead, and some of them place it in front of their home. But that is central to their faith. So by coding, Jesus reiterates the same. You know, believing in the person of Jesus is not just one of the things. So it has to become central to our lives. 
So central to our lives means our lives evolves around the person of Jesus Christ. Not that I'm looking for a God, you know, who fits my lifestyle. No, by loving God, we are called upon to live a life according to that God's values. And that God is the person of Jesus Christ. And Jesus begins a new era too. You know, the Old Testament, you know, the, um, the prophets, all others, they offered sacrifice. Now he begins a new era. Entering into a personal relationship with a personal God. You know, the God of the Old Testament, he was all powerful, almighty, no image, no name. But Jesus Christ, you know, a tangible, fully human, fully alive. We are in this beautiful season of Lent. The liturgy of today invites each one of us. Participation in the Eucharist and all our Lenten observances and praise all should amount to strengthen our personal relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. Please rise. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Christians all over the world, may heed the first commandment, loving God and living a life of life in the person of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. People all over the world may come to know the meaning of true love, the love of the one true God, and may love and respect one another. We pray to the Lord. For an increase of vocation to priesthood, and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. All those who are in need and ask for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Ronald Mueller, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. The liturgy today reminds us about the centrality of the person of Jesus Christ. As Christians, we are called upon to live a life in Christ. Grant us the grace, participation in this Eucharist may strengthen our personal relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord.
Precious and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our God and good of all of His holy church. <coughs> Look with the favor we pray, Lord, on the offerings we, dedic we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will, that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honor as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. A lead is not a temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. 
that you should enter under my roof. But only listen to the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and I unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ uh, our Lord. We shall pray together. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you, God. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream, and those who join us through the live stream, and those who take part later through the YouTube.
Thank you and have a wonderful day.